Workers at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant have taken precautions against the typhoon. Strong winds and rain forced the suspension of work to cover one of the reactor buildings. Workers also halted the effort to install steel plates in the water intake area of the troubled plant. The workers secured with ropes the piping and pumps used for injecting water into the reactors. Tokyo Electric Power Company says rainwater has flowed into the basement of a reactor turbine building. The firm also found leaks in a central control room, but it says no serious damage has been discovered. Tokyo Electric Power Company says rainwater has flowed into the basement of a reactor turbine building. The firm also found leaks in a central control room, but it says no serious damage has been discovered. More heavy rain is expected in the area through noon Thursday, but TEPCO says radioactive wastewater is unlikely to overflow from the reactor turbine buildings. You should take better care of your teeth. You have a, a cap, quite a cavity here. Is it safe? Look, I tell you, I can't do it. Tokyo Electric Power Company will cut its workforce by about 10 percent following the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The company needs such streamlining efforts to pay compensation to people affected by the accident. On Tuesday, TEPCO President Toshio Nishizawa told a government committee inspecting the firm's financial situation that it will cut 3,000 to 5,000 employees. However, Nishizawa explained that downsizing will not take place until about three years later because the firm needs staff to deal with compensation procedures. Chairman of the committee, Kazuhiko Shimokobe, in a news conference on Tuesday, expressed his dissatisfaction with the measure saying it's insufficient. The committee plans to compile a report on TEPCO's streamlining efforts, which include asset selling and cost cutting, sometime next week. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant is being urged to provide more data on the damaged reactors. A nuclear expert says the temperatures inside the reactors need to be checked to confirm that cooling operations are on track. No shit. The government and Tokyo Electric Power Company on Tuesday said they will seek to achieve a cold shutdown at the Fukushima plant by the end of this year. The original deadline was January. Cold shutdown means temperatures of the reactors are kept stable and below 100 degrees Celsius. Commenting on the revised timetable, Masanori Naito of the Institute of Applied Energy said more information is needed. TEPCO is now only measuring temperatures outside the reactors. It needs to be confirmed through simulation that the temperatures inside have fallen below 100 degrees. The company must also prove that there are no more risks of a recurrence of nuclear reactions. The government and TEPCO plan to start using new devices to extract contaminated gases and reduce the release of radioactive substances. These will be installed in the number 1, 2 and 3 reactors next week. Well, South Korea's chief delegate to the six-party talks on North Korea's nuclear program has arrived in Beijing for talks with his North Korean counterpart. South Korea's Win Son Lok will meet North Korean Vice Foreign Minister Lee Yong ho in the Chinese capital on Wednesday. The two nuclear chief envoys met for the first time two months ago. At their first meeting on the Indonesian island of Bali, South Korea 
said the North's uranium enrichment program violates a U.N. Security Council resolution and demanded that it be halted immediately. North Korea refused, saying the program is for generating electric power for peaceful purposes. South Korea and the United States maintain that the six-party talks, which have been suspended for more than two and a half years, cannot resume unless the North stops its enrichment activities. The focus will be whether South Korea can get any flexibility on the issue from the North. Japanese Prime Minister Yoshihiko Noda has arrived in New York. He is there to attend UN meetings and hold talks with U.S. President Barack Obama, among other world leaders. Before his departure, Noda told a newspaper that he believes the alliance with the United States is the foundation of his country's diplomacy and security. Noda spoke to the Wall Street Journal on Tuesday. He noted that Japan received extensive support from many other countries after being hit by the March 11th disaster. The Prime Minister said he thinks the rescue and relief operation by the U.S. military has given disaster survivors and many other Japanese a renewed appreciation of the bilateral alliance. He said he will tell President Obama of Japan's wish to develop the partnership. Noda also referred to restarting of nuclear plants in Japan that have been suspended for regular inspections. He said the reactors need to be restarted to safeguard Japan's economy and said that plants that can resume operation should do so to prepare for the peak summer season next year. アルゴリズムでも更新。リスクは小さく。タッタタッタタタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッ